wist ik hier wel eens bij sterk. I have here the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra running the latest One UI 4 Beta 1 based on Android 12 in the left corner. In the right corner we have the White Beauty which is the Pixel 3 XL running the latest Android 12 which is actually based on the latest Android 12 Beta 5. So we have here the White Beauty versus the Black Beauty. And what we're going to be doing in this video, I'm going to be testing the Bixby in the One UI 4 compared to the Google Assistant in the latest Android 12. So we're going to be testing some basic functionalities. I'm putting both voice assistants to the test. We're going to be testing some basic commands like checking the weather and converting numbers, but then also some trickier like integration with the core OS, like opening cameras, opening some, uh, let's say, non-stock applications. And at the end of the day, we should know really how Bixby running One UI 4 compares to the Google Assistant, the almighty Google Assistant running on the Android 12. All right, first things first, we are going to ask about the weather. Let's start with the Pixel phone. Hey Google, what is the weather? It's 15 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 16 and a low of 9. Okay, very nice. Let's also try to ask Bixby the same. Hey Bixby, what is the weather today? Which capsule would you like to use? Oh, very interesting. So Bixby is offering me the use of different capsules. I have the weather channel, I have AccuWeather and I have Big Sky. Let's just choose AccuWeather. Should I always use AccuWeather for weather? Yes. All right, let's try again. Hey Bixby, what is the weather today? I didn't quite understand that, but I'd like to answer your weather question. You can try asking it in a different way. Okay, that was not quite good. Let me just ask. Hey Bixby, what is the current weather today? The forecast for today in Sofia, Bulgaria, during the day, cloudy with a thunderstorm in one or two spots with a temperature of 16. At night, cloudy with a temperature of 7. Alright, that was not so bad. Bixby was able to provide a bit more information, but you have to tweak all the capsules and it could get a bit irritating. Alright, but let's just check now some very random number conversions. Hey Google! How many miles are 200 kilometers? 200 kilometers is equal to 124.274 miles. All right, that was a snappy answer. Let's ask the very same question, Bixby. Hey Bixby, how many miles are 200 kilometers? It's approximately 124.274.2384 miles. Okay, the difference that we see here, guys, Bixby is also kind of like giving you the option to open the calculator. So let's say I have some doubts, I can click here and the calculator is going to immediately be open, which is not bad. On the other side, Google is just opening Google and yeah, well, you have this integrated, so I would say it's about the same. But here you have also the formula, which is quite nice and probably will give the win to the Google Assistant. All right, let's continue with the basic questions. Hey Google. How far is the moon from the Earth? The moon is about 384,400 kilometers from Earth. Oh, very nice. You get the picture of the moon. You have the exact um, indication of the distance. I liked this representation. Let's see how Bixby will do it. Hey Bixby, how far is the moon from the Earth? 238,900 <laughs> miles. <laughs> and guys, see, uh, I was laughing a bit behind the camera because, okay, you see, I'm using Bixby, but hey, it is powered by Google, so I get the result from Google and I get it in miles, which is actually um, not a problem because I've set my phone to the US region. Bixby is using the US region, which actually would be okay. So I guess both phones did quite nice. I see here some trending us in Bixby, like what is the cosine of 45 we'll probably just do some tests here to see if really Bixby can calculate a bit more complex math things same with the Google Assistant hey Bixby what is the cosine of 45 that comes to about 0 0.7071068 <laughs> okay good and um, yeah I think good work from the Bixby let's check also in the Google Assistant hey Google what is the cosine of 45 Cosine 45 radians is 0 0.525. Mm. 
Okay, I think I'm getting here a different result, but it's probably about the way I say things. So, okay, they probably can do some complex math things, but let's check more. Hey Google, how much is 1000 multiplied by 20 divided by 2? The answer is 10,000. Okay, that was quite easy. Hey Bisbee, how much is 1000 multiplied by 20 divided by 2? I'll need a formula oh. to calculate. Okay, that's not good guys. So you see here, Google is able to pull some complex math as to Bixby, probably not yet there. But okay, we're just going to continue with the basic commands. Hey Google, what is the price of one Bitcoin right now? One Bitcoin equals 71,123 Bulgarian Levs and 78 Stodinkas. Okay, that's good. Hey Bixby, what is the price of one Bitcoin right now? Which capsule would you like Ooh, to use? Okay, I kind of like this idea guys. These capsules for Bixby are if you are like using modules, right? So you can just add different capsules and then you probably get different results. So let me just add CNBC. Should I always use CNBC for... Okay, I'm gonna press yes. One Bitcoin is equal to zero US what? dollars. Okay, I mean, no, come on, this, this sounds wrong. Hey Bixby, what is the price of one Bitcoin right now? One Bitcoin is equal to zero US dollars. Okay, that's, that's absolutely wrong. All right. Hey Google, what are the latest news? Here's what I found. Okay, so it gives you an indication with some videos. I think that's okay. Hey Bixby, what are the latest news? Which capsule would you like to use? Okay, let's just go for Fox News. Should I just, always use Fox just News? Just think that CNBC is not doing a good Fox job. News. Hey, Bixby, what are the latest news? Here's the latest from Fox News. All right, it gives you some popular podcasts. Oh. And well, they questioned again <laughs> today. So they start to play directly, which is actually not a bad thing. Hey, Bixby. How many liters have 10,000 liters inside? <laughs> it's 10,000 liters. Okay, let's see. That was very easy. Hey Google, how many liters do we have in 10,000 liters? 10,000 L is 10,000 liters. All right, that was an easy question. Hey Google, who is Steve Jobs? According to Wikipedia, Stephen Paul Jobs was an American business magnate, industrial designer, investor, and media proprietor. Okay, nice results, we all know this true. Hey Bixby, who is Steve Jobs? Stephen Paul Jobs was an American business magnate, industrial designer, investor, and media proprietor. Alright, so you can just see guys, they are using here both information from Wikipedia, although I'm really quite amused by the fact that this is powered by Google, which is actually quite nice. I mean, Google probably one of the best search engines out there. Alright, now we're done with the basic commands, let's try to use some commands around the integration with the core OS. First thing I'm gonna do, it's gonna be very easy, Hey Bixby, can you take a screenshot? Alright, screenshot added. And that's pretty much it guys. After this you are just left with uh, nothing. Hey, please take a screenshot. Okay, taking a screenshot. Oh, okay, I like this. It saves the screenshot and it gives you the option, right? So of course voice navigation not there like I want to send it to this or that guy but at least you have this context menu which I think is very very nice hey open the camera and take one selfie alright as simple as that let me just test this here open the camera and take one selfie sure get ready oh okay all right, guys, see, Google is a bit more interactive. Uh, it is just narrating things while doing it, so it feels a bit more natural. But on the other hand, you know, they both are doing the same things. So let's just go and try to check a bit more about the integration. Can you open my Twitter? All right, work here. Can you open my Twitter? 
opening. Twitter. Okay, so it worked, boring the same way, but let's just now take it a next step. Can you tweet hello world? Opening Twitter. Oh, <laughs> can you tweet hello world? Sorry, that's not mm, supported. All right, okay, good. I definitely Google wins this. Can you record a five seconds video with the front camera? The timer can't be adjusted in this mode. Okay, so we have this limitation here, but apparently you can record a video. We don't know this yet, but let's just try to test this. Can you record a video with the front camera? I'm only able to take photos in oh, this mode. Okay, so no video here, all right, that's a pity. Can you take a five seconds video with the front camera? Here's a five second front camera videos on YouTube. No. Can you record a video with the front camera? Opening app. Oh, ha, <laughs> yeah. All right, but you know, you know what? This is not the front camera, guys. I think this is the back camera, right? So, okay, yeah, I can prove this one. So it worked, but it didn't really switch the cameras. Let me just try to ask um, Google to do so. Can you open the camera and record a video with the selfie camera? Opening app. Yeah, uh, yeah, you see, it does take a video, but doesn't really open the camera. Can you open the camera application and record a video? Oh, okay, it absolutely works. This is indeed a video, which is not bad, but it seems that both assistants cannot do a video with the front camera. Let's just try more of the native integration. Can you reduce the volume down to 20%? Got it. Okay, but I'm not sure, this is not 20%. Can you set the volume to maximum? Got it. Okay. Can you reduce the volume to 20%? Got it. Okay, now it worked. Perfect. Let me just test the same on the Samsung. Can you set the volume to maximum? Okay, well, here, and it works. What I like on the Google is that it just stays on the current activity as to here Bixby is a bit more like a mixture of, you know, a fitted whatever, right? But okay, let's just test also reducing to 20. Can you set the volume to 20%? All right, so it worked here as well. This native integration seems to be working. Let's just continue with more like this. Can you set the brightness to 20%? Perfect. Setting brightness. Outstanding. Can you set the brightness to 20%? Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect. Can you switch automatic brightness on? Adaptive brightness is on. Perfect. Can you switch automatic brightness on? Turning adaptive brightness on. Okay. Perfect. All right, this worked as well. Let's now see, guys, what we can be doing here with the quick toggles. So, all right, Bluetooth is on here. Bluetooth is also on here. Let me just try to see what we can do. Turn off Bluetooth. Turning Bluetooth off. Okay, you just have the indication here, right, nodding on the toggles. Turn off Bluetooth. Bluetooth is now off. Okay, so I think they pretty much do the same job. Although the brightness really never recovered here, but I think they are doing a quite nice job in terms of native integration. But hey, let's do more because we know that Android 12 has this universal search and you can just do plenty of things. So I'm just going to take this one level further. Can you show me all the games installed on my phone? Here's a summary from CNET. Android. Mm. On your Android phone, okay. open the Google Play Store app and tap Not the good. menu button. What games I have installed on my phone? 
According to CNN, yeah. on your Android okay. phone, Forget open about the this. Google Play Store app and tap the menu button. Forget about this. In the menu, tap my apps and get... What games I have installed on my phone? Ah, Galaxy Store. Alright, not doing great with those, but maybe I'm just not asking the right question. Let me try to rephrase. How many applications I have on my phone? According to CNET... Yeah, okay, it's the same. How many applications I have on my phone? Oh, uh, yeah, okay, here I think, the, you know, the search is a bit better, but still is not really, you know, integrated the way I want. Okay, let's go further. How much storage I have on my phone? To find your device's storage capacity, check yeah, your device good. menu. How much free space I do have on my phone? According to Time ah, Magazine. Not good. How much space do I have on my phone? Oh, 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 let's try again. How much space do I have on my phone? According to Time nah. Magazine, Samsung by navigating to definitely your winning it. Okay, very good. How much battery is left on my phone? The remaining oh. battery on your device wow. is 65%. 60. This is really great, right? Let's just see here. How much battery left on my phone? Your battery level is 33%. Okay, good. But you see, Samsung was a bit more descriptive, so, all right, I think integration here in this case was a bit better. Can you open the gallery and show me pictures of cars? Oh, wow! Native stock gallery. All right, it's not Google Photos, guys. This is insane. Can you open my gallery and show me pictures of cars? Showing your photos of cars. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, good. All right, guys. Yeah, uh, I was sure that Google Assistant is able to pull this trick because they have Google Photos and it's quite powerful, but I was not aware that Samsung can do so. All right, let's just, just test this. And this is really, really interesting. Let's just do another test. Show my pictures of cats. Oh, this is really my cat. <laughs> Show my pictures of cats. And Samsung is even Showing quicker, your photos guys. of cats. Samsung was even quicker. All right, see, it is the same cat. Okay, good. I think this test was good. This test was good. Open my device setting. Opening settings. Oh, all right. That was an easy one. Open my device setting. Check your phone to continue. Hmm, okay. All right. That was, I guess, an easy one. The level of integration on both OSs, like the one you went for and the Android 12, I think really are great. And good job, really. Good job to Samsung and also to Google. Let's continue right now with some multimedia commands. Play some jazz music from Spotify. Got it. Here's a Spotify playlist called Smooth Jazz. Okay, playback initiated, right? And you know what I like about the Android 12? When you stop it, it doesn't really stop immediately. You have this fade out, which is really very nice. Play some jazz music from Spotify. Okay, playing the Spotify ah. playlist, jazz in the background. Okay, and it starts. And you see, guys, that's, I think, right now interesting. You see my phone catching this one? We have a card here, a Spotify card presented directly from Bixby as to what Google is doing. It does go and open directly Spotify. And actually both options work for me. Let's continue with multimedia testing. Check for system updates. To check for system updates, check your device's settings app. To check for app updates, check the Google Play app. Not to find personal mm -hmm. updates, at the bottom left corner Not of your screen, tap Check for system updates. Check your phone to continue. Nothing on my phone. Power of phone. Okay, here are some phone numbers what? for powers near your location. What the? Power of phone. 
Are you sure? Yeah, all right. I think you know, Bixby understood me. Let's try again. Turn off phone. Okay, this time it worked, all right. So I'll guess here we have an even result. Open Brawl Stars. Opening Brawl Stars. All right. I think this was very, very much straightforward. I think Bixby can do this as well. Open Brawl Stars. All right, guys, not a problem at all. I guess you can just open applications, you know, that are installed on your phone without any problems on both of those devices. Let's continue with the test. How much screen time do I have today? This came back from a search. Hmm? Okay, not good. Let's check what Bixby will say. How much screen time do I have today? Here's all the results mm. I found for okay. that. Okay, all right. I think Bixby was trying to be a bit more clever and it just actually gave me some options and settings that I can check on the screen, but both failed to give me this information. Let's check some navigation topics. And I know here probably Google will have to win it up because of course they have Google Maps, but I'm very eager to understand what Bixby are using. Start navigation to Germany, Berlin. It's a 16 hour and 41 Ooh. minute drive to Berlin. Okay. Do you want to navigate there? Okay, I think that's good. Well, Google is very clever. It will not only open Google Maps, but it will, guys, use here all this specifically optimized application for while you're driving, like Spotify. I can just show you. I made videos about this. I'm very eager to understand what the Galaxy phone can do. Start a navigation to Germany, Berlin. Oh, we pretty much got the same results. And guys, believe it or not, this is indeed using Google Maps. So what a clever move. What a clever move from Samsung. Start a split screen with YouTube and Chrome. Opening YouTube. Yeah. yeah, let's see. Start a split screen with YouTube and Chrome. I didn't find YouTube in your contact. Okay, that's maybe was not a good ask. Open recent applications. Oh, all right. Open recent applications. According to Tech. Okay, not good. Let's test this on the Samsung. I'm going to open Chrome here, and right now we have Chrome and we have Bixby, and I'm going to try to close it. Close all running applications. Okay, they've all been closed. All right. So let's just go, guys. And yeah, absolutely, Bixby nailed the job. Lock my phone. Sorry, I can't lock your phone for you. Mm. Lock my phone. Oh, okay, what? And Google cannot do this? Show me all alarms. You don't have any alarms. Okay, to that's true. Show me all alarms. If you just asked about an alarm, I okay. don't see any All right, set. good. I'm not going to be testing these guys. I have a feeling that the integration with the clock and with setting up alarms will be really great. But okay, let's continue testing. Change my ringtone. Opening ringtone. Oh, all right. Sound and vibration when you open. So I think very good. Change my ringtone. What should I call you? What? No. Change my ringtone. What should I call you? Okay, good guys, yeah. All right, Google here scored. Bixby was not quite able to understand. All right, let's test some smart home integration. Can you turn my TV off? All right, okay. turning the TV off. Yeah, I'm just guys looking at my TV, believe it or not, but in fact it worked, so now my TV is off and I'm gonna be using Bixby to turn it on right Samsung is struggling with this you probably know guys from the devices now you can choose to manage them with smart things and also with Google Home so I just have you know a Google Chrome stacked up in my receiver where I am using the HDMI ARP to connect to my TV and this is actually how I turn my TV on and off turn on the TV that device hasn't been added yeah. to smart things. Yeah, and that's the reason. I'm not sure why you cannot add here Google Home as a capsule, but this will probably follow. 
Guys, I think I've done enough testing. Sometimes the Google Assistant was a bit better. Sometimes the Galaxy Bixby was better. I think really both Samsung and Google improved a lot over these years and I'll probably do a video testing this with Siri running on the iOS 15. Let me know in the comments down below if you're using either Bixby or Google Assistant, right? Because honestly, I'm not using them on my phone, Bixby or that, but I'm using my Google Home speaker all the time and that's powered by the Google Assistant. So I do actually use this quite a lot on a daily basis. I'll be eager to understand if you're using one of these services. If you have liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel, guys. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos. With that said, VST over and bye.